Hello guys, a Johnny Depp role that's not a stupid pirate or a really creepy character. This should be interesting. So Black Mass is directed by Scott Cooper. It stars Johnny Depp, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Joel Edgerton. It tells the story of Whitey Bulger, a very, very famous gangster from South Boston, which pretty much was the main gangster from 1970s to the 1990s era. Not only during this time did he traffic drugs, guns, and murder people, he also worked with the FBI as an informant, and in return they helped make him the huge gangster he is known as today. I've been excited for Black Mass ever since I released the first trailer for it. Though Johnny Depp hasn't always been my favorite actor, I was really looking forward to his role in this, and though the expectations of the film didn't really live up to what I thought they would, I still had a lot of fun with Black Mass and thought it was a very interesting crime movie. I guess since I mentioned him, let's talk about Johnny Depp, who in my opinion gives an award-worthy performance in this movie. He does an amazing job as Whitey Bulger in this movie. He plays the character with such a passion that it makes him a frightening character, while also making him very interesting and one that you come to like as the movie progresses. Though playing a character that has a funny and interesting personality, while also being very frightening and creepy in every single scene, is a very hard role to pull off. Johnny Depp shows that with his years of acting, and though his past movies haven't been super great, he can still pull off a great role. Joel Edgerton also does a really good job in this movie as the main FBI agent who recruits Whitey into being an informant. Edgerton is able to gradually change his character from being an FBI agent who really wants to take down the Mafia in North Boston to being this character that's slimy, who's one that really becomes not a good person and has become more like Whitey as the film goes on. He really is one of the most impressive people next to Johnny Depp in this film. And other than the two main guys in this movie, everybody else also does a really good job. People from Kevin Bacon, Corey Stahl, Dakota Johnson, Jesse Plemons, Adam Scott, pretty much everyone does a really good job in this film, and all of them are able to pull off a Boston accent very well, with only one exception that I'll get to later. This movie is also one of the better mafia stories brought to the screen in recent years. With the movie starting out in 1975 and 1995, as the plot thickens, the characters get more developed, the story becomes more and more interesting, and as you keep watching it and start to enjoy it more and more, it really starts to stand out from other mafia films. There are quite a few captivating scenes in this movie that had me on the edge of my seat because there was so much tension, but also so much great acting from Johnny Depp and everybody else in this film that I was just having a really good time with it. However, there are quite a few things that make it so this movie isn't the new Goodfellas or The Departed. I'll start with a minor problem that might just be a pet peeve of mine. Benedict Cumberbatch does a really good job in this film and I really enjoyed his performance, except for his American accent. Since he's British, he does an American Boston accent in this film, which is even harder to do than just a regular accent, and it just doesn't really pull off in this film. I can completely tell that he's not American, and I just kind of was thrown off by it throughout the scenes that he was in. Now onto bigger things that I had a problem with in this movie, one of them being that there are quite a few scenes that I either feel don't need to be in the movie or do need to be in the movie, but they are pretty boring. The first act of this film is great. I would say it is really great, and if the movie had continued on in this fashion, I think the movie would have been amazing. I think I would have probably given it at least a 4.5 if not a 5 star rating. However, in Act 2 and 3, there are quite a few scenes that feel like they should be more interesting because there's a lot of plot development going on, but they're just not working, mostly because these scenes don't have Johnny Depp in them. Whitey Bulger is the most interesting character in this entire movie, and though the other actors do really good jobs, the writing simply isn't good enough for their characters to keep the scenes as interesting as scenes with Johnny Depp in them. There are quite a few scenes that feel like they're a little bit too long, and there are even scenes with Whitey Bulger in them that I feel are a little bit too unnecessary. Are there a lot of scenes that are unnecessary? Not necessarily, but in Acts 2 and 3 of this movie, there were more of those scenes, and I feel like if they had cut them out, it would have been a better movie overall. Another problem this movie has is that it is predictable. It doesn't really throw you any curveballs at any point, and in each scene, you can pretty much see how it's going to progress over the course of the movie. However, this isn't as a major problem as the past few problems have been because you don't really realize this until after you walked out of the theater. The movie is interesting enough that it keeps you really focused in on the story and you don't really realize that it is predictable until after you're done with the movie. 
So Black Mass has some really, really great performances throughout, especially Johnny Depp, who gives the best performance he's had in years. The first act of this movie is done really, really well, and though the second and third acts aren't done as well, and some scenes feel like they're either unnecessary or they're just not interesting enough, and though it is predictable, I still had a really, really good time with Black Mass. It's definitely one of the better Mafia movies I've seen in recent years. Go check it out this weekend, and I will give it four stars. It wasn't as good as I expected it to be, so let me know below any movies that you thought were going to be amazing and just turned out to be pretty good. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.